Hey, it's Johnson Soul Sales at Mitchell Mazda, and I've got a 2019 Mazda CX-5 Signature all-wheel drive with the 2.5 liter turbo. I'm gonna take this beauty out around town and check out the new powertrain. All right, so we're in the 2019 CX-5 Signature all-wheel drive with 2.5 liter turbo. You hear that? things really got some get up and go of course they're driving uh, Rucker Boulevard by the dealership and the speed limits 40 so uh, can't really get it into the higher gears so the 2019 CX-5 is standard with a 2.5 liter with 181 horsepower this 2.5 liter turbo with premium fuel has 227 horses and over 300 foot-pounds of torque. So I'm gonna get out on the highway here in just a moment and uh, we'll see if we can feel a difference in the engine there. So it's still made with a six-speed transmission. And uh, what's great is you also have sport mode, which I'm really interested in seeing how the sport mode works as far as uh, with this engine. So this is the first one we've had with the turbo. And um, with this engine, everything's a little bit more uh, scaled up or upper uh, trim, a lot more features. So uh, this is a Katura brown interior, which you may not be able to see. It kind of looks black, but it's got a brown tint to it. So it's, uh, it's only available in this uh, model. So you've got two other models, both all-wheel drive only paired with this engine, and that's the Grand Touring Reserve and this signature model. It is the top model. Of course, all-wheel drive, as I've mentioned already. Um, so you have the unique interior color leather, but also what I'm looking at here to describe that to you, the center uh, gauge that has the speedometer, odometer, also shows the uh, what gear you're in as far as you know, drive, reverse, neutral. Um, it's all LED, so you don't have a traditional needle that is, uh, well, hold on, let's go over these railroad tracks. One thing that I love about the CX-5 is uh, how quiet it is. So that's different than other, there's a bigger bump, that's different than other uh, SUVs in its segment, and I'll come back to my previous thought here shortly. But um, it has a acoustic windshield and both front side windows are acoustic as well so it's uh, really trying to keep all the wind noise out and all the other uh, sounds that would come through that glass usually then of course uh, Mazda is gonna have a lot of other sound dampening materials but it's very quiet and um, which even you know it's kind of counterproductive on this uh, engine because you'd like to hear this engine um, but it is uh, still uh, I guess it dampens it a little bit. So, going back to what I was talking about before, you have the Grand Touring, the Grand Touring Reserve, and the Signature. On the Signature model, what I'm looking at here is the uh, the center, uh, the center gauge or of the cluster there. Show it doesn't have a traditional needle. It's all LED or electronic, and so uh, it'll follow that. Uh, very reminiscent of what we see in our Lincoln vehicles. So you can see that this is a premium model or Highline model for Mazda. And uh, then of course it will show all the other information in the center, uh, such as your lane departure, um, proximity detection, and all those other things for the Mazda radar cruise control. Shows that right in the center, uh, as opposed to in that right, uh, as opposed to in the right gauge as uh, typical. Also the heads-up display is standard on this model so I can see 
you know, by looking in the glass, uh, also shows the uh, some of the uh, eye active sense features and the speed, and then you know, cruise control things like that. When I have that set, all right. So we're coming up to the highway now. Uh, we'll go from a stop sign, complete stop, if traffic agrees with us, and uh, see if we can hear this 2.5 liter turbo. <clears throat> All right, so complete stop, and now we can go. All right, so let's see what we got here. See if I can get it all the way in the sixth. Still don't want to get up over the speed limit, so that's pretty quick. I don't know the uh, actual time uh, from zero to sixty, but that's pretty quick considering I wasn't even, you know, didn't have the the pedal to the floor or anything. You know, and I wasn't even in sport mode. See what happens here. Oh yeah, noticeable difference there. I better slow down. Yeah, that uh, sport mode can get you in trouble. I can hear it holding the gears longer. Of course, uh, with the electronic um, steering, electronic power steering, sport mode will dress that up, tighten it up a little bit as well. This is, uh, you know, I've been driving the, um, been driving the CX-5s for a while, and uh, just getting acclimated to them, and it's it's really a, a good size vehicle. Um, but this one kind of takes it to the next level, same size, but has a lot of premium features on it, on the signature. And uh, they're both all-wheel drive, which is what you see on more premium models. But uh, of course, you know, with the all-wheel drive system, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to affect your fuel economy as much as driving with this engine uh, would affect my fuel economy. But uh, it's just going to be some extra traction when you need it. And so this all-wheel drive system actually tries to predict slippage, not just react to it. So that's a, a new system that uh, Mazda is very happy with and uh, excited to have it in the CX-5. Turn sport mode off there while we're back into uh, regular city traffic coming into Enterprise. So the heads-up display is a colored display, so right now it's showing that uh, there's a vehicle in front of me, and um, trying to minimize all the vibrations here. I'll probably do a, a, another uh, test drive so you can kind of see the things that I was looking at, but just wanted to kind of get this out here, and this is just crazy. I mean... Little, really a little bit of overkill <laughs> to have this much power on this vehicle. So with 227 horsepower, this is more than any other compact SUV. I know the, the new RAV4, the 2019 RAV4 is just over 200. Um, so, you know, this is something that we needed for the CX-5 uh, since it was 181 horses before, or the standard engine is, I should say. More railroad tracks here. Slow down to about 20 miles per hour to go over those. Um, so, you know, just looking around, you've got uh, a 360 camera, which is standard. 
What's also neat about that is you can toggle to the full uh, LCD display up here of your backup camera or partial backup and partial 360. Um, also, you have a view button over to the left of the steering wheel that when you hit that, I'm going uh, 33 miles per hour right now and it shows the 360, uh, all the cameras around for a few moments, but also the front camera. So in the event you are in a unfamiliar terrain, either off-road, on-road, or whatever the case is, you can hit that view button and see uh, kind of what's below the uh, hood line there because uh, that front camera is mounted below the radar, below the, the Mazda uh, wing logo in front. Bose, premium sound. So all of your premium features, uh, everything you'd expect, heated steering wheel. Uh, something that's very nice is you do, of course, have heated seats and heated rear seats, but also pick up ventilated seats up front. Uh, but everything is going to have the uh, perforated leather, which is nice. And then all your technologies here as well. So um, navigation. What I really like about this is you've got two USB ports up front, two in the back. So you've got four total USB ports. But when you talk about the Grand Touring Reserve, a lot of nice features. The signature that I'm in now, a lot of nice features. But really what, uh, you know, those are icing on the cake. What, what makes the cake is the 2.5 liter turbo. It's almost like, don't pull out in front of me. <laughs> Over 300 foot-pounds of torque, that's your off-the-line acceleration, and that's pretty strong. I mean, you know, if I really stepped on it, if I didn't have a car in front of me, it would throw me in the seat. So that's, that's nice. Of course, this is the same uh, engine that we see in the CX-9, so that, that mid-size SUV, uh, seven-passenger, uh, you know, it's designed to have a lot more weight is a heavier vehicle and then of course with the extra passengers so it's it's just fun in this vehicle thank you for taking a ride with me in the 2019 Mazda CX-5 signature all-wheel drive with the amazing 2.5 liter turbo engine it was so much fun to drive uh, like I said really the cake to me is the acceleration, everything that engine gives you, and um, all the amenities are nice as well. Uh, really dresses this up to the premium model that Mazda is wanting uh, to offer to uh, its drivers and clients. Uh, so if you have any questions, reach out to me, comment below, call or text 334-718-0504, and please, subscribe to my channel for more information on all the Mazda, all the Lincoln products. They're coming. So uh, look forward to more videos on this vehicle. Uh, in the next uh, few days or probably next week, I will do a complete uh, walk around uh, information to share with you and uh, to cover all these great features on this vehicle. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll see you down the road. Just to describe what I'm looking at right now, well, not looking at that too good.